myself as a painter in Chinese ink painting. Uh, well, as a matter of fact, for Chinese ink painting, um, it has been for many, many years deeply rooted in you know, Chinese philosophies like in Taoism. I would like to see in a broader dimensions of how we address uh, other issues other than just the building forms, other than just compositions and scales, etc. Uh, because for the past many years, you know, the whole world has been going through, I would say, you know, various uh, problems as to like, we have big problems with air pollution, we have big problems with water pollution, as well as, you know, even you know, forest fire. And somehow, now we come into a bigger problem of, you know, the COVID-19, which has, you know, really affected the whole world. Having that in mind, um, not just an architect, I think as artist itself, can I be looking into something in a, a broader sense as to do something departing from Chinese philosophy as in now in, uh, in a world, in a global values, such as in my tendency here. Uh, the title is Breathing. This time when I'm showing my two major sets of painting um, under the title Breathing Series, and the other one is Life Series. What it meant is that um, we human beings do breathe. Plants also breathe, which is called photosynthesis process. Then for my painting, uh, I'm using ink and pigment for it to also breathe. And how I'm doing it is, of course, I use very watery uh, ink and, and pigment put onto the paper and then using a clean film over it and the side, and therefore it was creating a very textural effect. Then after some time, maybe several hours or the other day, then when this color or the pigment starts to evaporate, it will create very strong textures. And when it's done, I put it off, then all the textures will become a piece of work that I'm going to present right in here. In my painting, you don't find any buildings at all. However, I wanted to express my work with some connections to architecture, which is in the form of in the very narrow strips, either it is horizontal or vertical. Why? It is because in architecture, we always you know, play with the socks. Architecture always talk about three-dimensional volumes, but at the same time, when we're talking about how you play with your facade is how you define windows, how you define lines, either vertical or horizontal. So that can be part of my painting.
I myself is from Hong Kong, and now I'm traveling to London. Now, uh, Hong Kong and and England are, you know, actually they have been in good relationship for many years because in the past Hong Kong was a colony for over hundred fifty some years, and therefore the British culture has been rooted in Hong Kong, particularly in the area of architecture, and. Myself as an architect, of course, I know very well we have a, a lot of these colonial buildings or heritage buildings in Hong Kong for so many years. How I am going to bring about cultural exchange, perhaps through this, you know, in exhibition in this gallery here. I believe that because of my work has more global values in terms of environmental uh, concerns, in terms of um, Green concepts, and I believe this message can be much more easier for uh, the British to understand and appreciate. And this is only my first time, my first solo, and I think it will carry on some more years. And by then, that will be time they really, they really appreciate, you know, my. Income.